Kenya. Me as a, as, an, as, a, as a technology lover, as a scientist, I have my own thing. So I'm going to tell you where I'm at so far. What you guys are looking at, you saw me try to put together. I wanted to put together another tech deck because these are my, was my scaled prototype. Um, but it was too hard and I don't have time for that because I'm busy. So... And it's really not even necessary because I could just take this one apart with you and you can do this on your own as well. So just to get you started on my concepts of uh, what a hoverboard would be, I was thinking about hoverboards and and um, I came to a lot of realizations. And, you know, science is also about practical inventing, I should say, is about practical application of science um, in, to some degree or, you know, coming up with something that's actually useful. So... Um, you know, there's lots of different hoverboards on there. You can go look online. There's some that hover using mag magnets, and then there's others that use, like, drones. And I really, f the, the magnet one is kind of cool. It's more of a levitating board, if you ask me. And then we have um, the flying boards. I'm like, that's a flying board. It's not really a hoverboard. What is hovering, exactly? And I think that what we mean when we say a hoverboard is really just um, being able to go over a flat surface. Flat surface. Okay, not a surface or a flat surface, regular inclines, not really bumping into, you know, um, not being, having falling off. You know, if you look at the hoverboard from, you know, Back to the Future, that was cool because, um, you know, you could go over water, not really because you couldn't push, you needed to be able to push, but, um, which they could have solved. I mean, if you can figure out hovering, I think you can figure out propulsion, but anyway, yeah, you could go over, you can go over, like, you can go in the forest, you can go anywhere, you know, with the idea of a hoverboard, because you're not going over land. So what is a hoverboard really? Really, I think we actually have a pretty good approximation of that when we put tires on things. Wheels are really cool. Skateboard are, skateboards are, are, you know, they used to be ceramic wheels. These little um, tech decks come with little, little plastic wheels, um, which are basically as bad as... Um, the acrylic wheels or ceramic wheels or whatever. Now we have rubber wheels and skateboarding. Um, tires, though. Tires are more advanced than wheels. Don't reinvent the wheel. Invent a tire. <laughs> anyway, but, the, you know, the tire, what that is, it's a very practical f form of hovering. What are you doing? You're using air to make up for the difference in levels and conditions. So instead of having, you know, a hard substance made a hard substance, you have a hard substance which is really use, being used to control air and the air, you know, can handle the, the air and the rubber can handle the pressure increases and decreases run into a rock. And then, you know, it absorbs at a certain amount without popping because you fill it up to a certain amount, but it can also handle a certain amount more. So it's allowed to expand when it hits different things and then you adjust and keeps the ride cushy for you in combination with suspension, a lot of other things. And so the suspension really, I think futuristically, what we'll want eventually is a skateboard that is, you know, like this, but very much like a whole car underneath, you know, with suspension, um, you know, trucks to a degree um, provide... Um, an amount of suspension. If you look there, they, they have a, what's called the bushing, which is a little rubber piece right there, which allows um, the... It's really more for steering because it's not really there for suspension. But as these these components get more um, interesting on a skateboard, we'll be able to see and put tires on them, which they do have. They have some motorized skateboards and different motorized things. And so that gets me to the current version of hoverboards that people are very interested in, which they're actually called hoverboards and they're able to stand on them and move around. So let's take it to the next level. And so that's where I was starting from, really thinking that ultimately, um, and then I started thinking about the concept of a shuttle board, which is really what we want. We want something that is more useful for us. And I think that boards honestly could be a very huge part of the future. You see all these videos of Mars, but wouldn't it be cool if 
if boards were a part of that, the personal vehicle, if we can get the most out of this, we have, we have um, a real shot at having a, a tool that could be amazing for human beings. The board could be the companion, an artificial intelligence board that allows you to move over surfaces. That could be way more efficient and allow you know new people on new planets to get around, move things around, put stuff on top of it. So how do we maximize this? That's what I'm into. Let's maximize it going forward. And so I started out with um, some sketches. Let me show you guys some of my sketches. You know, when I start thinking, I just start thinking. So first I was like, you know, what are all the different wheel arrangements? You know, I went through some different ideas there. Just, you can see the, um, the, the side. And actually, I, I still think some of these have some interesting potential, um, with some other gears, maybe. Um, that one, what was that? I put internal rotation. So that's actually something that I'm very much on for the next level of hoverboard that I'm going to come with, but come up with. But <clears throat> and then here I went in a little bit more, um, thinking about you know the treks extending along this way, different things. Then I also had this concept of sphere wheels, making the wheels sphere. Um, but I kind of left that behind for the tires. But I'm still thinking about the sphere wheels. And then I even did um, some sketching about, you know, the attire. Because I'm like, really, the attire is going to be very important as far as hoverboards because you don't want to die. That's also going to be a huge part of this stuff. So it's like, yeah, the, the board might be hovering. But are you going to be hovering with it? Your suit is going to be very important um, when it comes to hoverboarding. Um, which is one thing they don't take seriously enough in skateboarding. The suit um, would allow them to do a lot more. If, if, if um, a skateboard team got very serious, this is some interesting ideas I had about pulleys. Um, you'll see some concepts of this one in my little prototype. But let's get to the prototype. Um, but yes, if a, if a skateboarding team really focused on outfitting a team of already active skaters with... It, technology that would allow them to withstand a lot more conditions, the tricks that they would be able to try if they really had a, a science team behind them. Um, but that's what we're doing over at, at LifeScape, one of the companies that I'm doing all this for. Um, so we're going to get there. So that was some new stuff. Um, this was really about an infinity type contraption that would allow for this is actually more along the lines of what I would like to see because what these pulleys will allow is for traction on the edges. Now what I currently made is almost a combination of a ramp and a skateboard, which I think is the next iteration towards the skateboard and the next thing I will be trying to build a large prototype of using an actual skateboard. So what you'll see here, there's a lot of tape on here because for prototype purposes I wasn't wasting any time. You'll see here is that I have connected the bottom of the truck to the tip of the thing. Now what that allows for right here, what that allows for right here is some interesting stuff. I tried it out, but check this out. So regular skateboard hitting the truck so it would just catch on the truck. But with this, you'll notice immediately there is the ease of push. And then what I didn't expect upon doing the same thing on the inside, which I, originally I was kind of connected along, but I like this better because it allows for, so you want to do board slides um, lip slides or whatever, um, you know, right there, you can do that. But if you have these parts, what that also allows for is even when this thing, which is a huge problem if you're trying to get over rails, unless you're going to ollie over the whole thing, when this thing um, contacts with it, it also allows for easy lift there. So if this was fully extended out, allowing, you know, more narrow points here. And then I actually think these are interesting surfaces, maybe for grinding, but maybe not. But um, boom. And that's going at a decent speed. But I noticed that high speeds is, with the, the way that I designed this one, is there's a lot of bounce. So it would just push it back off. Now what I'd like to see is for the friction to be reduced at the greatest angle. So this might end up even being a steeper curve. So that it allows for the acceleration of an object. But then, you know... I'm also thinking about this end, but anyway, I want to build a, a large version of this prototype um, because I think that'll be very interesting and I'd like to see how that changes what happens when people are getting to curves and stuff like that, when it comes more about balance. And um, so that's really interesting. I'm also interested in 
facilitating the balance. I understand we can just teach humans to balance and that's cool, um, but I'm interested in facilitating the balance because I think it'll add for some interesting technologies. Say if we have eventually an object that is this high, you know, um, what would happen to a board that was coming in at this level? You know, let's say, so you're coming in at this level, boom. You know, if you're coming in here, this is gonna help you. It's gonna make it really easy for those wheels. You're not gonna get that immediate stick right there, which you could do just by leaning to the back of the board, but you know, that takes an extra amount of skill. So let's see if, I'm interested to see if um, someone's coming at this level. What's the solution there? Now that's not really a hoverboard technology. When you're talking about getting into altitudes that are like, you know, I mean heights that are that much higher than the board, you're really talking about a flying board. And that's when it's like, okay, what components of flight were you talking about thinking about? Now another thing that I'm thinking about is if there is a way for um and this is I'm gonna leave it at this because this is a really out there technology. But um if there's a way, this would require so many different things, but I'm trying to think of the simplest way. Um, if there was a way for an object to convert um, impact energy into upward. One idea that I had for it actually would be to place something on here that would allow for leverage on a flat surface. So that when you go here, if you tip in, you find yourself able to maneuver in some type of direction that's interesting. There is also, you know, the ollieing and the ollie assist, different ways of getting up, different ways of making the board lighter, and different things like that. But anyway, that's where I'll leave it. Thank you for watching my hoverboard prototype video. And I